So, looking at the uh, the crossover here, let's get something to point at. Screwdriver's a good one. So, you've got two bipolar electrolytics. SPT, never heard of them, probably just a kind of a cheap electrolytic bipolar you can get in China. Um, 12 UF there and 4 UF there. Now, you'll see that this one's rated at 100 volts. It really doesn't matter, you're not ever going to get anywhere near 100 volts. Um, you've got to remember this is AC. Speakers are basically current draw rather than voltage. So, 50 volts is, is fine. So, here you have 12 UF, which you can easily replace, that's kind of a standard value. 4 UF is not so standard, so you're going to be, we're going to use a 3.9, very close. If you actually measured these, the tolerance of these probably 10-15%, so it, sonically it's really not going to make any difference using a 3.9. The resistor is a, a 5 watt 1R resistor. Um, this is a, a cheap ceramic, so we're going to kind of step that up a bit. Here you have an inductor. Now, you, we could replace this one, but I'm going to leave it. Um, you can see it's a ferrite core version. Um, you can see that's a solid going through the center. Um, it looks like a one mil wire. The reason why we're not replacing this is because it's a bit of a tight fit. And you're only really going to get something close to that in quality anyway. Um, to replace something of that size. Um, the whole thing about the inductor here is this will have a specific, a specific, specific. That's hard word to say. Some so this will this will have a specific um, DCR resistance. So you want to kind of achieve that. So best just to leave it in there. It's been designed with this inductor in mind. So we're going to leave it. Now we're going to go for these are bipolars. Um, we're going to go with a cross cap, which is a polypropylene. Now there's certain schools um, feel that if you've got a, a bipolar electrolytic, you should really replace it with another bipolar electrolytic. But there really isn't that bigger in, there are some around, but there's not a lot of choice. Um, the reason people feel they should follow the same suit is to keep the same ECR, which is the resistance in there. Generally, bipolar electrolytics have higher ESR than, say, a polypropylene. But sonically, you're not really going to hear it in this, this application, I don't feel. So uh, we're just going to go with some polypropylenes instead. Now you'll see this cross cap, which is a Jetson capacitor, is a lot bigger than this, than the original. But as you can see, there's plenty of room going inside. So as long as we keep the actual cap like that, we can, we'll be able to fit everything in. So there's a, there's a 12 UF. UF. Um, this is the 3.9, which can all fit like that. And then obviously the resistor, similarly, will, can, can fit standing up. Um, so there you go. What I also like to do at this stage, you can see it's all there and all good. I want to take a picture of it because if you ever get in a situation where, oh, I've just taken something out, where, where did that go? You need to have a reference. So so there's no need to take any of these off. We can work as is here. Um, so recognise that all these are the ones that put the components on. You don't want to touch that one, you don't want to touch that one, because that's the inductor one. But these, one, two, three, four, five, six, you want to take them off. So, here you have the solder.
So the resistor holes are a bit too small. This wire is about 1.2. So I need to get oops, a drill. I drilled it. So it's going to open up these holes here for the resistor. still. So there. And there obviously we're gonna to have to put an extension on there. That lead out. We can do that in a minute. And this one. Then the same with that story, we need to put, extend that lead out. And then this one should fit kind of like that. So, do, do, do. glue gun now before we actually solder these in place just to fi fix them. So anyway, we're going to solder these joins in. So that one, that one, that one, that one. So using good old Mondorf solder, 3.8%. Cool, so we're just going to put it all back together again. So you've got to make sure it's going to fit. Okay, 
so let's hold in place with some self tappers. speaker posts, they look like nickel plated brass, which are fine. You could have upgraded them, but um, you've got to get one that's got the same kind of hole fit and a similar size as well because of the way the PCB is sat inside. I'm just going to put these in loosely, tighten them up. Plug it in. I'm just gonna check the DCR. Um, should be about five, something like that. Oh God, why don't I put it on the, I'll put it on the right setting so it's on DC resistance. So what we're going to do is I'm um, going to leave the other one as is um, and then this is the upgraded one and we'll do an A to B, have a listen. <laughs> <laughs> 